everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. Today I have for you guys a book and a graphic novel haul. Almost all of these are from Ollie's because that's where I buy so many of my graphic novels these days. But a couple items are from some unexpected places that we'll talk about as we go through here. So I have about 10 items to get through, so let's not waste any time at all. Let's dive right into my latest book and graphic novel haul. So I'll start with the one novelization that I found, and I found this in a very unlikely spot. Barnes and Noble, which I know it's not weird to find a book at Barnes and Noble, of course, but it's the fact that I found a novelization to a 1989 film. I found Dead Poets Society, the novelization written by N.H. Kleinbaum. So why in the world was this at Barnes and Noble in 2024? I genuinely have no idea, but this is like a brand new copy. They don't have used books there where I was, and they had multiples of this. So I don't know exactly why this was there. I was looking to see if I could find a reprint date, but I don't see anything listed there. I just see the original 1989 date. So I have no clue, not a clue why this was there, but I'm very happy to have this in the collection because I love this movie. If you guys have any idea, like, is there a remake of this coming out that I'm not aware of? Like, why would this novelization be at Barnes & Noble? I find that so random, but either way, very happy to have it. I don't think there are any pictures, no. You just get the cover with the, you know, Robin Williams as the teacher. Such a great, great story. I remember my choir teacher used to play this for us every single year. So I've seen this many times and it's just a beautiful story. I love this film. This is the novelization to Dead Poet Society. Check your local Barnes and Noble. It might be there. I found it on one of those like random kiosks in the middle of the store. Super random, but very happy to add this to the collection. It is very rare these days that I buy a new book that is not from Ollie's, but that happened with Dead Poet Society because I didn't expect to find that. And then this other one I actually grabbed off of Amazon. I was buying something else and I thought, you know what? This is so cheap. I might as well add this to the collection because it looks beautiful. This is actually from Tashin, I believe is how you say that. And this is the Stanley Kubrick Archives. This thing is absolutely beautiful. So the reason I know Tashin is because, I don't know if it was a couple years ago now, I guess, they released the a couple Star Wars books in this, and I have the original, it covers the years of the original trilogy, and it is big and beautiful and filled with just awesome pictures. A lot of these are in black and white because I just happen to be looking at black and white films, but there we go, there is a color film there. And so it's just going to go into a deep dive of his films. And this is just an awesome way to have a book like this. Tashin does a wonderful job. So there's uh, this one. I saw some others as well, but this is the one that really struck my fancy. So I grabbed it. I don't know why I said struck my fancy. That was really weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep keep chugging along here. Anyway, I also want to grab the prequel trilogy years of the Star Wars because I saw that one was released as well. They have one about Disney. Like there's there's a bunch of these, but this one definitely was one I wanted to grab. I think this is a 2020. 24 release if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, very happy to have this in the collection. Cannot wait to go through this one as I continue to watch more of Kubrick's filmography. This is the Stanley Kubrick Archives. Moving over to Ollie's now, but the last of the books that I picked up, I found this one there and I was so excited. This is The Empire Strikes Back from a Certain Point of View. So I own A New Hope in this same series, but I own that one on audiobook. So when I saw this one at Ollie's for, I don't know, somewhere around $5, there was no doubt I was taking that home with me. This is another one, big hardcover book, and there are 40 different stories in here. And the, the, kind of the gimmick to this, I guess, is that these stories all take place during the film itself. However, they're told from different characters' points of view. So it's, you know, what's going on? Well, this scene is happening. This story is happening in the background. That's the idea to this. And I love that idea. I think that's such a unique thing. And so that's why I have to have these in my collection. I don't know if the, the last of the original trilogy is out yet, but 
these two at least are, New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. So I'll definitely be grabbing Return of the Jedi when it, that comes out, if it's not already, and when I find it cheap or I'll do audio. It just depends. But yeah, very happy I was able to find this. I think this is just such a really cool story. So looking forward to, to reading through the original and then I'll get around to this one. This is The Empire Strikes Back from a Certain Point of View. All right, let's go over to the graphic novels now. And something I didn't mention yet, but I have to with Ollie's. I don't know if you can you can see it there. Yeah, you can kind of make it out. The stickers, they change stickers, at least at my local Ollie's. They move to these new stickers, and they are awful. It, it, it took me so much work getting the stickers off of these books this time. I was so annoyed by that. I have no idea why they changed from their normal sticker, but terrible just terrible getting those off but anyway for the low price i guess i can't complain too much but this first one here looks really interesting this is captain america the complete collection volume one but this is sam wilson as captain america so i have never read any sam wilson captain america before my assumption again this is how ignorant i am i'm assuming this is kind of where like falcon that the story of Falcon taking over as Captain America comes from, but that's just a guess. I have no idea. So anyway, yeah, looking forward to checking this out when I get around to it. This has a cover price of $39.99, and I want to say this one was right around $9.99, if I'm not mistaken, or less. So very good price, but looking forward to checking it out. I have read very little Captain America. Most of what I know from Cap is going to be from the MCU, and I've not watched the TV shows. The only TV show I've watched from MCU is WandaVision, which I thought was severely overrated, but oh, that, that's not something to talk about here. Anyway, so that's what I know about Captain America. So let me know if I'm right about this being Falcon and it's kind of where that story came from, or did I just completely m mix that up? But anyway, this is Sam Wilson's Captain America, The Complete Collection, Volume 1. I know that one of the most disliked Marvel movies has to be Morbius, but I still haven't made it to that film in that franchise, so I'm, I'm behind on the MCU. However, I've never read any Morbius comic books, so I figured I would grab this one. It's a real short one, very small. It was only like four bucks or so. This is Morbius, The Living Vampire. So I don't think... Oh, yes, it does. It does have a spine number. This is spine number one. So yeah, this covers Morbius 2019 issues one through five. So not a ton of issues in this, so it'll be very quick to get through and it just looks fun. So hopefully I will enjoy this one when I get around to it and then eventually get to that film in the franchise. But yeah, it looks like it'll be a good one. I love horror, of course, so why not mix the two? This is Morbius, The Living Vampire, Volume 1. I was really excited to find this one because I've always heard about the Marvel Knights line, but I don't think I have any in my collection, so I definitely had to grab this. Black Widow, the complete collection. And you can see on the side here, it says parental advisory, not for kids. So I'm automatically intrigued because that just sounds interesting. But yeah, this looks very cool. So you can see all of the issues listed on the back down there. So another one that's not terribly long, but hopefully it'll be good. It looks like there's about nine issues in here. So yeah, looking forward to checking this out. You have all different types of art style and you're going to have more adult themes, which I think is awesome. So yeah, very happy I was able to find this. The only Marvel Knights book I have in my collection. If you guys know of any others that are must read, let me know down in the comments. But for now, I will start with Marvel Knights, Black Widow, The Complete Collection. The last of the Marvel books I found is another Star Wars related read. This is from the Legends line. This is called Forever Crimson. A Star Wars saga decades in the making is what it says on the back here. So I don't know who wrote this one. This collects Star Wars 1977 and there are about four issues there plus an issue from Star Wars 2019, issue 108. So no idea what this is really going to be about, but it does have, you know, our known characters on the back there. So that's why I grabbed it. Anything Star Wars for cheap, I will always pick up. So yeah, very excited I was able to grab this one. This is Star Wars Forever Crimson. And the only DC book in this lot is a Superman book that I've never read before, but it's part of their New 52 line. This is Superman Action Comics, Volume 1. 
I remember this cover very vividly because when New 52 started, I had it in my head that I was going to start reading from the issue ones on whatever books looked interesting. That was, you know, many years ago and I never ended up doing that for most of them. But this was one that I was considering reading because it was Action Comics, which of course is a very, very famous line, but not anything I'd ever spent any time with. So I was very happy to find this one, another one that was really a good price, five or six bucks, right around there. So you are getting issues one through eight of this one. So yeah, hopefully this will be enjoyable. It's Grant Morrison, who's typically great. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. This is Superman Action Comics from the New 52, volume one. So I'll show these last two together because it's book one and book two of a series. I think it, there's three books in total, and this is a true graphic novel. It's not a, you know, trade paperback like these technically are, even though I always refer to everything as graphic novels. But anyway, these are media tie-ins, so that's awesome, and it's a series that I love right now. I watched the movies, loved those, and I read the book, and I really enjoyed that. So of course... When I saw one of these at Ollie's, well, I had to go get both of them. This is Dune, the graphic novel book one and book two. So book two I found at Ollie's and I almost passed on it because they didn't have book one. But it was like $6 and I said to myself, you know, I've done this in the past and I've regretted it. So I might as well grab this and then I will look for the original off of Amazon, which fortunately it was a really good price on Amazon right around, I don't even know, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. So not a bad price, but obviously more than I paid at Ollie's for this one. But yeah, for 20 bucks or so, less than 20 bucks to have both of these in the collection, that's a great price because I think the, yeah, the, the sticker price or the cover price on one of these is $24.99. So I only have one more book to get in this series. That one was a little bit pricier, so I have waited, but I'm going to read these two and then I'll get that third one. But excited to see how this compares to both the movie and the book because I'm one of those people, hate me if you want, but I like the movie and its story more than I liked the book, though I really did enjoy the book. So yeah, very intrigued to see how I'll, I'll, I'll like these once I get around to them. But I thought these were awesome finds, especially getting Dune book two for like six bucks at Ollie's. That's a great score. So Dune book one and book two, cannot wait to check out both of these graphic novels. All right, so only 10 books in this stack, but my goodness, they are heavy, so I'm gonna set those down. But yeah, I love going to Ollie's. I always find something interesting there. Now, mind you, I do have to take off a month or so in between going, because if you go too often, they just don't restock their graphic novels all that often. But I actually, this morning, I was watching a video from Joe, the physical media man, who I will link in the description below. Channel's amazing. If you haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. He's an awesome guy guy, but he found some wrestling action figures over at his local Ollie's, including a Bray Wyatt figure for three bucks. So you know I'm heading back there sooner rather than later because I got to see what they have. And all of this stack that I grabbed from Ollie's, I had my, it was like a 15% off coupon as well. So it was even cheaper than what was listed, which I'm not going to pass up those amazing deals. So yeah, awesome finds at Ollie's. But I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. Have you been shopping at your local Ollie's lately? Do you have Dead Poet Society brand new at your Barnes & Noble like it's 1989? Like, that was so weird to me. But anyway, let me know what you thought about these books and graphic novels and anything else down in the comments. I always appreciate, uh, appreciate rather, any and all support down there. So thank you so much for that. Before you guys go, if you could just hit that like button, that engagement really does help me out. And thank you guys again for checking this video out. I really do appreciate it. Before you go, I'll just encourage you all to consume some media today. I will catch you all next time. Oh,